So, power of products. What the power of product states. All right, we've talked about the product, product, um, uh, product power, and or the yeah the product of powers. Then we talked about the power of power. Now we're talking about the power of product. And what that simply states is if you have x, y, you have a product. Right? So now you're going to have a product raised to an exponent, a. What that simply means is you're going to have x to the a times y to the a. So do you guys remember the distributive property, right? If I said 3 times you know, x plus 2, you distributed that, right? 3x plus 6. You applied the distributive property. Well, when we have a product and it's raised to an exponent. Okay, now, now be careful. This does not work for when you, have a def when you have x plus 2 squared, that does not equal x squared plus 4. Right? Because what is x plus 2 squared? That's x plus 2 times x plus 2. Right? So let me go and prove my point. So this means x times y raised to the a. That means x raised to the a and y to the a. So let's take a look at when this would make sense. What about if I said 3x um, cubed? Now, let's do to the fourth. Let's make it fun. So by applying this rule, right? By applying this rule, I'm going to have 3 to the fourth x to the fourth. Right? All you do is you take your power and you distribute it to both terms. So 3 to the 4th is 108? 27, 54? 81. 81. 27, yeah, times 3. Yeah, I'm, I don't, how do I multiply by 4? I don't know. So 3 to the 4th is going to be 81. x to the 4th, right? Now, what does 3x to the fourth really mean? 3x to the fourth means you're going to take 3x and multiply it by itself how many times? Four times. 3x times 3x times 3x times 3x. Well, in this example, how many times am I multiplying 3 by itself? 3 to the fourth times, and then x to the fourth, which we've already shown is going to be 81x to the fourth. So do you guys see how it's very easy? It's much simpler just to distribute that and then write it in there, right? But let's look at this. Why, why doesn't it work for addition? Well, because x plus 2 squared means x plus 2 times x plus 2, right? Whenever you have something raised to a power, that means you're going to take that whatever's inside the parenthesis and multiply it by itself. x plus 2 times x plus 2 does not equal x squared plus 4, right? You've got to use FOIL and, and get that out. Right, it's only when you have multiplication that you can distribute your power. Okay? Well, not multiplication, multiplication and division, which we'll go over next.